Antarctica are these isolated little Bantu-style homelands where people live on top of each other in moldy shacks. And dying in slow motion is a way of life. An Indian Affairs Minister wasn't aware of any of this. He told committee yesterday that he first became aware of Attawapiskat's cry for help on Thursday. So now that he's deposed the elected council, blamed the community for years of chronic underfunding, where is his plan long-term to get this community out of this disgraceful level of poverty? The Honourable Minister of Aboriginal Affairs. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The Muskegon Dog uh, Tribal Council invoked a declaration of emergency on October the 28th. On November the 7th, we got our first funding proposal from Ottawa Piscat First Nation. On November the 8th, we approved 500,000 immediately to be used for some housing renovations. We responded quickly. On Thursday, November the 24th, we got an emergency declaration from Ottawa Piscat and on November the 28th, Monday, my officials were in the community. That's why we appointed a third party manager, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Day. Mr. Speaker, if he was a leader, he would be there. So I'll tell him what the situation is on the ground. Beyond the tents, beyond the unheated cabins, beyond the molded, condemned homes, there are still 90 people living in a trailer that has no sprinkler water system suppression, that has very few washrooms. So now that he has personally taken command of this, this community, what plan does he have to get those people into long-term housing? Does he have a plan, or is this a desire to punish an impoverished little community for making him look bad? The Honourable Minister Aboriginal. Affairs. Mr. Speaker, our priority is to address the urgent health and safety needs of the people of Attawapiskat. Exactly. We informed the chief the community will be placed in third-party management to ensure that community needs are addressed. We are working with the community and with the province of Ontario through Emergency Management Ontario to quickly implement the community's existing emergency management plan to ensure that residents have access to warm, dry and safe shelter. Well said. Well, the member for St. Paul.